ready to begin fat burning Pilates. I've got my friends with me. And I'd like for you to meet Tracy. She'll be modifying many of the exercises. So let's step it wide with your knees bent and your abdominal pulled in. We're gonna begin with angel arms and it's a great way to introduce the Pilates technique of breathing. So let's go girls, here we go. We inhale, lift up and exhale it out. Good. So the breath in Pilates is really important. It's involved with every movement. Excellent. Do one more time, breathing in and breathe it out. Good, now the other direction, go straight front and breathe it out. Good, so the breath will help us stay energized throughout the workout today. Good, one more time, keep breathing, inhale big. Good, now hands on your thighs, flat back, slow, soothing roll, bring it up. And do it again, contract down and roll it up. Again, down. Good, this should feel good, do one more. Now let's isolate, small little lower back. Here we go, it's down and up. Good. So get in the habit of pushing your abdominal in towards your spine. Four more. This should, again, feel great in the lower back. Two more. Good. Let's come all the way up to a center squat. Down and up. Drop down and up. Good. Now, the posture in Pilates. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Nice long neck and a lot of control and contraction through the powerhouse. This is midsection. Eight more, just like this. So feel that posture now. We want to set the tone for the whole workout. Strong, stable Pilates posture. Four more, we're going to add arms. Here's four. Get ready. We're going to arm sweep with the right. Last two. Here we go. Right arm sweeps down. Keep your back. Try to keep it straight. Down. And up. And up. Good. Just four more. Just really invigorating that body. Opening it up. Big range of motion. Last two. Good, now back to that center squat, down and up, good. Nice, now, check in with that posture. Shoulders over the hips, abdominal pulling in. Good, now open your arms elegantly to the side. I call these elegant arms, it's a great way to keep balance and add poise. Now three mini pulses at the bottom. It's three, two, now up and squeeze. Get a little glute action there, and squeeze it up. Three, two, up and squeeze, good. Let's add arms next. Crisscross down. Here we go. Cross. One, two. Now up and extend. Good. Feel the length through your shoulders and your arms. Reach it. Three, two, and open. Now one more element to add. A leg lift. Let's lift that right leg on four. Here we go. Lift it up. Point that toe. Reach. Good. Great. Lift. So that heart stays lifted. Feel like you're floating at the top. As if you were suspended at the top. Four more. And lift, good. Three more. Up, two more. Good, now we're gonna move on to just singles. Down and up, here we go. Down, up, press. Good, so feel the toes point through the lift. It's really up, squeeze. We got eight more, and then we're adding one more element. Good, keep putting those toes. Add a sweep right here. Four, eight, press. You got it, one more set, maybe a little bigger. Here's eight, seven, six. Moving on, let's lunge it out, left and right. Hands on those hips, lunge, press, good. Checking with that Pilates posture, abdominal pushing in, shoulders stacked over the hips. Eight more, then we add an arm. Knees are tracking over the toes. Four, get ready. Reach that right arm up. Reach it, big. We're after that long line today. Feel that stretch. Four more, we hold. Four, and down. Three. Good, now reach and hold and stay there. Long body, stretch. Eight. Feel that stretch all through your side. Good, turn it to your left. Tracy stays up here for a runner stretch. We drop down here. Just feel the stretch in your quad. Good, now make sure that ankle and knee are lined up and you're curling that back toe under. Now lift the hips up, shift your weight back, flex through the toes, hamstring stretch. Nice, now drop the toe, come to the center, bend your knees. 
Now, let your head drop, pull your belly in, and do a Pilates spinal roll up right here. Shoulders stack over the hips. Go right back down the same way you came. And one more time, up. And lunge it side to side. Go side to side, good. Now those Pilates spinal roll-ups are a great way to release tension. In Pilates, we want to have control, but we want to have mobility. Let's add an arm, reaching up and down. So we're gonna do that whole series again, stretching out this side of the body. Good, four more and we hold. Stretch. Good, two more. Now reach and hold it and feel that length. Stretching the back leg, stretching that side body. Good, four more. And now turn to your right. Stay up with Tracy or join me down here. It's your choice. Feel the stretch in your quad. Knee is aligned with that ankle. Four more counts here. Good. Feel that stretch. Nice. Moving on. Shift your hips up and shift it back for that hamstring. Tracy steps her back leg in for modification. Good. All right. Drop the toe. Come back to the center. Let's do those Pilates spinal roll-ups. Pull your bellies in, hang your head, and roll up. Shoulders stack. Let's go back down. Tuck the chin, roll down. One more, roll it up. Shoulders back, good. Now just grab behind you for a little chest stretch. Open the heart forward. Drop your shoulders down. Good. So you know about breathing, Pilates posture, and control. We're gonna be focusing on them a lot today, and I'll keep reminding you. But pay attention to it. It's important in this workout. Good, now release those arms, and let's step touch to the right. Abdominal pulling in, shoulders are down. Let's take this step touch to four step touches and four tap outs. Four and three. Now tap it out to the right for four. Good. Do that again. So feel that nice control through that powerhouse. And here we go, tap it out. Four, three, two, and again. So that standing Pilates work is coming up. Tap it out. leg tap. So four and three. Leg tap slowly. It's point. Close back. Reach. Squeeze. Good. Let's do that again. Nice and slow. It's out. Back. Good. Step touch. And leg tap. So in a Pilates mat class, we would be doing this on the floor. Step touch. But the standing work makes us control. Let's do it last time slow. That whole upper body solid. Step touch for four. Now let's take that leg tap up tempo. Here it is. It's out, back, out, front. Yes, do it again. Step touch. Good, and then do it here, out and back. Now we're gonna add the elegant arms next time. So step touch for four and three. Elegant arms, leg tap, point, flex. Beautiful, and again. Now this is our last time we're moving on. Take that right knee up slowly. Pull. Good. This is called the side Pilates imprint. Squeezing tall. Now switch other side. Four. Good. So you should be feeling the squeeze for your side body. Two. Good. Back to the right. Faster. Eight. Seven. Six. Keep it strong. Last four. Three. Switch other side. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Now moving. Jack squat, because you feel those arms lifting. Four more. Three more, good. All right, let's do it to the left. Step touch. Now stay here for eight. They'll break down that combination. Four and three. Here we go, four step touches. Four leg taps to your left. Four, lots of control, powerhouse. Step touch for four and three. Again, step touch. And tap it out. So right here, we're trying to make those movements really crisp and strong. Step touch for four, three, leg tap. I think we're ready to take it to the Pilates leg tap. So let's do it. Step touch for four and three. Slow it down and strong. Take it out, back, out. Step touch, good. You should be feeling those inner thighs. And take it. Squeeze. 
Let's do it. Out, back. Good, last time slowly. Keep the heart lifted. Take it out and back. Good, now let's take the leg tap a little faster. Here we go, four step touches. And leg tap fast. It's out, back, out, front. Good, step touch. Four, three, leg tap. Four and three. Open and tap it. Out and press. Good. Step touch. And open and practice. Press. Good. Let's do the slow imprint here. Take the left knee. In. Yes. Do it again. Pull. Keep it tall. Keep breathing. Switch. Other side. So when we do this Pilates imprint standing, it has a lot of effect squeezing that oblique. Let's go eight times. Other way, here we go. Eight, seven, six, pull, four, and switch, other side. Eight, seven, six. Great work, everybody. Let's do the jack plie to the right. Here we go, take it down, up, and in. Great job, keep bending nice and deeply. Four more. Now because it looks so good, and because we can, let's do it one more time. Top. Step touch for four. A condensed version. Elegant arms right into it. Leg tap. Bam and press. Good. Step touch. Four. This is the last time. Pilates leg tap. Now let's go into those imprints nice and fast. To the right. Elbow, knee, elbow. Pull. Squeeze. Press. Good. Four more. Standing tall. And switch. Other side. So we want the posture to even be improved. Not just maintained. So four. And three, jack plie to your left. Open and in. Good, use those arms. Keep that Pilates posture. Shoulders over the hips. Four more. Three more. Two. Good, step touch to your left. Four, right into it. Elegant arms, leg taps. Out, squeeze. Good, step touch. Four. Give me four more. Belly's pulling in. Pilates posture intact. And back to the step touch. Hold it here. Make it big. Strong arms. Four more. Now let's make this a step tap. Good. Now add an arm reach to the right and the left. Now feel that control. It's moving what you want to move, but keeping still the other areas so there's no momentum. That way we use that muscular energy and we tone our body, tone our muscles at the same time. Both arms right here. Good. Now try not to gain any momentum here. Keep that powerhouse pulling in. Eight more. Here's eight and seven. Good. Now the shoulders are low. Let's take this to a full circle all the way around. Eight. Make it as big as you can. We want to keep that heart pumping. Good. Four more right here. Four and around. Three. Good work, everybody. Let's face right, toe, heel it out. Now the swan is coming up next. It's a Pilates exercise that lengthens and extends and pulls in the back side of the body. Eight more here. So on four more, we're going to lift both arms up and extend that left leg back. Here we go, let's do it, reach it up, reach. Good, now just feel as though you're gonna fly away. You're really extending. You can even lift up off your heel if you want to. Reach, good, now two more. Let's keep the right arm up and repeat. Here it is, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, nice work everybody, circle that way. All the way around, as big as you can. Let's do that whole breakdown again. Four more circles. Reach. And three more. Two. Face left and toe heel. Point and flex. Good. So the swan sits.
single again here, facing left. This time it's gonna be your right leg extending back. Both arms reach up to fly away of strong abs. Let's do it, here we go. We reach up and down, reach up and down. Good, even add that little lift up off your heel. Four more singles and we repeat. Two more, awesome. Let's repeat it, nice and strong. Chris, control, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, good. Circle it to the right four times. Let's do that again. A little condensed version. Two more. Now right into a repeater. Right arm up and go. Repeat. Strong. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Circle to your left. Good. Two more. And let's repeat it to the left. Left arm up. Eight, seven, six, five. Back to the center squat. Down and up. Down, up. Good. Feel that Pilates posture. The girls are gonna stay here while I demo the mermaid combination. So watch me, but follow them. I reach, fold, and I take the right knee cross two times. Good, now I'm back with you for four. Now let's put that together, everybody. One mermaid, two slow knees. Elegant arms, here we go. Reach, fold, two right knees across. Pull, good. Do it again. Reach, fold, two knees across. Pull. Now do that same exact motion on the arms. But now four knees fast, across, pull it, four, three, and again, reach, four fast knees across, moving on, single knees, left and right, hug and under, eight, seven, six, good, your back is tall, now side extensions, left and right, add that little tricep squeeze, and get that nice plie, four, good, four knees front, Four and three, triceps, side extension, press. Two knees front, two knees side. One more time. And center squat for four, four, good. After being upright, let's round forward just a little bit for eight. Double arm sweep, here we go. Eight and up, seven and up, six and up, good. Elegant arms, four more, three more. And back to that center squat, hands on the hips. Good, so we've got side two of Mermaid. We're gonna take our right arm to the left this time. Ready? Here we go. Reach, pull, left knee cross, pull. And again, reach, left knee cross, pull. And again, mermaid, reach. Now four fast knees, pull it together. Four, three, two, and again, reach. Four fast knees. Now just like before, facing front, single knees, right then left, right, left, right, good. Tall spine, Pilates posture, side extension to the right, right, left. Good, keep bending the knee, here's four. Good, four knees front, hug it under. It's four, three, four side extensions. Two knees, this feels good. Two side extensions. One more time, pull it in. Good, center squat. Four, and up. Really go for it here. Two more, we're super warm. Let's add the sweep, double arms. We circle forward and up, down and up. Even breathe, exhale, inhale. Four more, three more. Great, let's go back to the center squat for four. Nice, three more, two more. Step touch to your right, use those arms, step touch. Four more, just like this. Here's four, get ready, step it out, out, in, in. Right lead, out and in. Nice, lift that torso, keep the shoulders down, keep that Pilates posture, add a shoulder roll. Here we go, it's four and three. This should feel good, two more. Now angel arms to the front.
punch. We inhale up and out and lift. Good. Really stretch those arms. Four more just like this. Four and down. Good. Keep breathing. Nice strong breaths. Now tapping it out right and left. Just take your hands on your hips and just give me a tap side to side. Lots of core control, lots of finding your center here. Eight more right here. It's eight and seven. Now we're gonna take this a little slower and a little deeper. Same direction, take it right and now take it left. Now with this, I want you to squeeze your heels together at the bottom. So that means you squeeze your glutes and your inner thighs and you end in that Pilates stance. Now add a double, so we go down and lift and the other side. And again, down, leg, lift. Good, now let's add arms to this. Here we go, we extend, palms down, palms up. Good, they follow the legs. Just think being very graceful here. And again, palms down, lift. Feel your toes point. Feel the crown of your head stretch out towards the ceiling. Four more. And squeeze. Good job, you guys. Abdominals in. Down, up. Last one. Now return to the center with a bend plie right here. And now lift and releve. Up. Good. So this is a very vertical movement. Feel your knees bend over your toes and feel the Pilates posture maintained throughout. Now we're gonna add arms to this and they follow the movement. They go down and up. Here we go. Down, center, up and open. Bend and lift. Keep that abdominal pulled in and just feel those knees bend for you. Good, twice more. Down and lift one more time. Now on the left, let's take it out, out, in, in. Nice and easy, out and in. Pull in that powerhouse. Two more. Let's add the shoulder rolls. Nice and big, all the way around. Get rid of the tension. Two more. Angel arms to the front, big inhale. And down, and up. Good. So the same breakdown. Four more angel arms, stretch them long. Here's four. And three, and two, get ready. Tapping it left and right. It's left and right. Pull in that powerhouse. You're doing great. Eight more, just like this. Here's eight, and seven, and six. Get ready for that squat to your left. Here it is, take it down. Pilates stance center. Good. I love to get those inner thighs and the glutes squeezing in. In. Good, now last set, then we're gonna add the lift here. So here we go, take it down and lift. Take it down and center. Good, now think of electricity pouring out those toes as you point them. Down, lift, and to complete this movement, let's bring in those arms, palms down, palms up. Here we go, down, up, down, squeeze center. Lots of energy, lots of muscular energy. Lift, down, lift, four more. This looks great, down and lift. Really linger, you're growing taller on that lift. Last one, bring it to that Pilates stance and bend in a plie, lift in the releve. Hone in on that powerhouse, pulling those muscles in. Good, now let's add arms. Down and up. Keep those shoulders low. Two more and we hold. Now this time, hold it at the top. Down, center, and stay here with that lift for eight counts. Just feel the length. Good, the torso is lifted off the rib cage. Now drop the heels down. Release and turn and face your right. We're gonna do the Pilates push-up. Lots of control for the powerhouse. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down, curl your chin and roll down. Bend your knees if you need to. Walk your hands out. Tracy modifies by bending her knees. Here we go, four push-ups. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two more. Down, up, good. Now walk your hands back. Pull your abdominal in and roll up. Shoulders
shoulders stack over the hips. Long neck, and let's do it one more time. Breathe in, and exhale it out. Curl the chin and roll down. Walk the hands out, form the plank, strong powerhouse, four more push-ups. This is it, guys, four. Push, three, push, as if you're pulling the floor away. Good, walk your hands back. Pull your bundles in, roll through the midline up. Shoulders roll back, turn and face front and breathe strong. Up and exhale it out and do that again. Breathe it up and exhale it out. Good, one more time, strong breath and exhale it out. One more time, breathe it up and exhale it out. Good job, we just finished our cardio training. Take off your sneakers, grab a mat and come back for traditional mat work. Let's roll ourselves all the way down onto our backs and take a breather here. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Now we're gonna begin with the 100, which is an abdominal exercise. So begin by stacking your knees over your hips and then use your powerhouse to pull your head and shoulders up off the mat. It's about your abdominal here. Now Tracy's gonna stay here with her knees bent and one hand behind her head for modification. Now lengthen the legs up, glue the knees together, and reach. Now four exhales, four inhales. One, two, three, four, breathe in. Breathe out, shh, 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 breathe in. Good, now it's lots of energy at your fingers. The pump actually creates more resistance. So exhale, two, three, four, breathe in. Two, three, four, shh, 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 shh. Last time, breathe it out. Breathe it in, good, and rest. Drop your head and just shake side to side. And now lengthen your legs up with those toes pointed and your hands down by your side. For open close, now your shoulders drop down to the floor. Try to keep your upper body silent. It's about the inner and outer thighs. Here we go, we point, open, two, three, four, and cross. Inhale, you open, exhale, good. Breathe it in and cross it out. And inhale open, exhale, cross it out. Now try to resist bending your knee. If you need to go smaller, that is fine. We wanna make sure we have quality of motion here. Good, two more. Inhale open, exhale, cross it. One more, inhale open. Exhale, cross it, and release. Wiggle those toes and shake your head side to side. Now moving on to the single straight legs. Pull your abdominals in and lift the head and shoulders up for single straight leg. Grab onto your left leg, lengthen it up, and your right leg long. Shoulders are off the floor, abdominals pulled in. Shoulders stay away from those ears, really important, and your back never loses contact with the mat. Extend those toes, and let's do it up tempo. Here we go, eight, seven, shh, shh. Really breathe. You're in control of this movement. One more set of eight. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release and relax. Just shake it out. Wiggle those toes for a moment. We're going back up for another ab exercise called the double leg. This time, hands behind the head. Exhale, let your powerhouse lift you up off the floor, shoulders and head. Extend your legs up to the top. Just holding this takes abdominal strength. The degree of the drop is your choice. It can be a couple inches, it could be six inches or even a foot. But the, the, the whole point is to feel your abdominal. So elbows stay away from your ears. Really focus on control here. We inhale down, exhale and shh. Inhale, drop down, exhale, close it up. Good, so your back never loses contact with your mat. It's really important to not gallop in the upper body. We wanna lengthen and strengthen that abdominal. We got four more. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale down. Two more, drop down and up. Last time, drop it down and bring it up. And drop the head, hug the knees in, shake side to side. You should be feeling that abdominal. Now lengthen your right leg towards the floor and your left leg up to the sky. 
point your toe and turn the knee out. Relax the shoulders. Leg circles are coming up first, going to the right. Here we go. We circle four and lift. Now leg circles are about the thigh, but they're also about the powerhouse. Lots of strength there. Good, now go the other direction. For four, control, control. Three, two, and one. Good job, switch legs. Point the toe, turn the knee out, relax your shoulders, contract your abdominals, and we go to the left. For four, and up. Three, and up. Two, lift, and switch, and go to the right. Lots of energy out the toe, keep reaching it, lengthening out the leg, two more. Circle, and lift, and one, and release. And pull those knees in, wiggle your toes. Good job. Now one more. We're trying to complement that cardio training session. So the oblique crisscross. We lift our head and shoulders up again, hands behind the head, taking our left shoulder to the right knee first. Tracy's gonna kick her other leg up higher. Just make sure your abdominals stay engaged and your elbows stay away from your ears. We wanna strengthen and lengthen the core. So, ready? Here we go. We cross to the front. Exhale, exhale. Feel that cross. So you're lifting, almost like you're lifting your lung up and over to that knee. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop it down and shake your head side to side. Wiggle those toes. You should feel a little bit of heat through the side body. Now open your wings and let's do a knee drop. Just drop to the right. And take a nice big breath in. Feel the stretch and the release in your side body. And now bring your knees up. And go to the back, go to the left. And stay here and breathe. Good, so a nice big breath actually stretches the side body a little bit. Get some lung expansion. Nice, come back to the center. Hug your knees in and roll yourself up to seated. Good, shoulders are low, you should feel your abs. Let's flip over onto our belly for some back extensions. So find a nice, comfortable spot with your feet flat on the floor. Now our first exercise called flight, Tracy's gonna modify by keeping her hands underneath her shoulders. Otherwise, we extend the arms down by our side. Either way you choose, your abdominal pulls in and your toes press down. Here we go. Inhale, lifting your heart up. Exhale, dropping down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Now, as with all Pilates exercises, that breath is meant to complement the movement. Good, let's do four more. Inhale up. Good, try to go a little bit further this time. Inhale up. Good, two more, just like that. Breathing big. And one more time, breathe it up and relax it down, good. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, relax your lower back, and push up to a little mini cobra abdominal stretch. Breathing up. Good, take a few breaths here, and exhale, lower all the way down. Good, now abdominals pull up, back fills up for a little piece of heaven, nice and slow. We push up, hinge back, and lengthen out and lower down. Good, let's do that three more times. Now, little piece of heaven exemplifies control. So that abdominal stays pulling in and we really move with control. It also feels great after those back extensions. So it's a nice, easy release for the lower back. Do one more. Push up, feel the tricep, hinge back, lengthen out and lower down. Nice job, push it all the way up to all fours. Bring it to your forearms and your knees. We're gonna do some glute work. This exercise is called arrowhead. So take your right leg, extend it long, straight from the hip. Point your toe, and now tap it to the right first. So we tap right, come back up, and left. So it's just the shape of an arrowhead, and squeeze. Now the emphasis is on the up. So it's tap, exhale, shh, down, up down, up, eight more. Make sure you're not wobbling off onto that other leg. Keep it nice and solid, down and up. Good, four more, four, squeeze it up. 
Lots of strength. We're toning the glutes. Last one. And release. Good. Bend it down. Let's switch to the left leg. Extend it long. Point your toe, reaching it out, and we tap left first with an inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, no arching the back, keeping that powerhouse pulling in. And lift, tap, lift. Eight more, here's eight, and lift. Seven, squeeze, really feel that up. Four more. Squeeze it. Three more. Two more. And one. Good job. Bend it in and just rest in child's pose. Sit your hips back and just feel the stretch. Feel the release in your lower back and a release in your glutes, a stretch in your glutes. Good. Now pull your abdominals in and roll yourself up. Shoulders roll back. Have a seat. Keep your feet planted and your knees bent, begin. And now bring your hands back so you're on your forearms. Now before we begin with the hip circle, I just want to explain a very important part of this. You don't want to slouch and sink your lower back to the floor. You want to keep it lifted, long and pulled in. So if you do that, you're halfway there. Tracy will be modifying this by keeping one foot flat on the floor. Now pull your knees in and lengthen your legs up. Glue those knitter thighs together and point your toes. Hip circles to the right for four. It's exhale down, inhale and up. Good, exhale and inhale. Two more, exhale and inhale. Nice, just try to be pretty cyclical with the motion. Now go to the left, so it's all the way down, all the way up. Like you're tracing a clock, down to six o'clock, up to noon. And twice more, I know you're feeling this, hang in there, we only have one more. Exhale down, inhale it up. Good, plant your feet, grab onto your hamstrings and roll yourself up. Nice, so you should have felt that a lot in your abdominals. Now roll back into a little reclining position. We're gonna do what's called the reclining twist. It's as if you're in a bucket seat. Extend your arms out, make sure your shoulders stay low. Pull your right arm back. We exhale as we pull. Good, let's go back to that same side. So it's as if we're pulling a bow and arrow and we're twisting as we contract our abdominals. So twist and squeeze, then come back to the top. One more on the right. Good, now let's go to the left. And this is such a great one because it works four muscle groups right now. It works those obliques and the abdominals and the lower and upper back. Two more, so notice it. Hang in there, you're doing great. Do one more, exhale, squeeze. Now let's alternate right and left. So it's right and up and left and up. Good, shoulders stay low, neck stays long. Exhaling, inhaling. Here's four and center. Three, center, two, last one, good job. Lengthen your legs long, inhale, reach tall, exhale and fold forward. A nice easy hamstring stretch, forward bend. A little stretch in your lower back too. Good, now inhale and lift all the way up. Exhale, your arms behind you, point your toes and lift to the reverse plank. Squeeze your glutes, pull in your powerhouse and lower those hips down. Let's do that whole sequence again. Inhale tall, exhale forward, and relax. Keep your neck long and your shoulders low. Inhale, lift all the way up strong. Exhale, your hands behind you. Inhale, lift up to the reverse plank. Exhale and drop back down. Good, now the same thing, but cross your ankles. It's a really different effect. So get a comfortable seat, ankles crossed, and we inhale up. Exhale forward. Stay here, feel the stretch. Inhale, rise up. Exhale behind you. Inhale, lift those hips, reverse plank. Point your knees to the floor, chest stretch. And drop those hips. Let's do that one more time. It should feel nice. Exhale forward. We just want to make sure that you leave tension free in your spine. Good, inhale all the way up. Exhale behind, 
Inhale, reverse plank, make it strong. Squeeze your glutes. And then release. Good, take a nice big inhale in. Through the nose, let it out through the mouth. And again, breathing in. Exhale it out. We did it. We successfully combined Pilates technique and cardio training for a truly complete workout. I hope you feel energized and you're ready to go conquer the world. Now remember to keep at it, keep crunching, and you'll see some terrific results. You did great. 